Hi, and welcome to the Three Pillars of Flamenco Workshop. This is the place to be if you want to dance flamenco with passion and confidence and conviction. Ole. Uh, this is the first video in a series of three where we're really going to break down the fundamentals of flamenco, and it's not learning another choreography. I am uh, Rina Oriana, and I have been a flamenco dancer for over 25 years. I've been teaching in Los Angeles since 2003 in my studio, and I've been teaching online in my online flamenco studio to hundreds of dancers around the world since 2016. Olé. <laughs> so I am like you in that I did not grow up in a flamenco family. I did not uh, start flamenco as a child. I started it as an adult and I was always drawn to it even though I knew nothing about it. But I saw the dancers on stage and I wanted to be like that where they're dancing with just complete abandon and expressiveness and confidence. I wanted to be like that. And so as a student, you know, it was very challenging because there's so many elements to flamenco besides, you know, the actual dance technique. There's the music, the vocabulary, the structure, just understanding all these moving parts was really, really challenging. But also, as a student, I would be enthralled with what I was seeing from the professional dancers from Spain, and I wanted to dance like that with all the crazy techniques and, and moves. But as a student, you know, it's really difficult to attain that level of flamenco with the complexity. And, and I've seen that throughout my years as a dance instructor as well, that my students would get really hung up on wanting to do these crazy, crazy complicated moves. So throughout my 25 years of dancing flamenco, I really realized, and I've, and I've heard my other teachers tell me this, but now I really understand it and I really want to impart it to um, all of you and all of my other students uh, that I've had, that really sticking to the basics is so important. And what I mean by the basics, it's not just the actual dance technique, basic dance technique. It's what I've developed or, 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 or discovered are the three pillars of flamenco. And one is the compas. And the next one is having courage. And then the third one is the feeling. And you kind of wonder like, well, what do you mean by all of that? That just sounds kind of airy fairy, right? We will work through that. But the first one we're gonna go through is the compas, the heartbeat of flamenco. Now, if you've never taken flamenco before, the compas means the rhythm, the beat. And everything begins and ends with that. And if you don't have the compas, you are just floundering around. So you can be a new beginner, and if you have that compas, you will dance beautifully. And of course, and if you're an advanced dancer and you have that compas within you, you have so much more freedom to express yourself as opposed to just thinking in your mind of like, oh, what comes next in the choreography or constantly counting. If you have that compas, you are, it gives you so much more freedom. So what do we do with the compas? With the compas, you know, of course, that, that, that gives you the, the solid foundation in actually dancing. And, and everything goes out from the compas. Everything expresses from the compas. You are also very much um, supported in the compas. Now, when I talk about compas, it also means two different things. We have compas meaning the actual beat of, of the rhythm, and also staying in compas means staying in the beat, right? Or staying on rhythm. And also, we can say like, one compas of this or one compas of that would be a measure, a specific count in flamenco. All right, so how are we gonna start off with the compas? The basic, the best way to start off with compas is playing palmas, and that is the hand clapping. Now, as a dancer, you know, of course you're dancing, right? But you are also playing palmas for your compañeras, for your other dancers, and you are playing palmas for them to support them. Also, with you, you can play palmas for yourself. You're listening to music, and um, yet you're keeping the time. And basically, playing the palmas is another, it's like a, another musical instrument. So it's you know, obviously more percussive. But if you can understand uh, how to play palmas to the compas, to a piece of music, that's going to translate into your body. So the more you practice your palmas um, with music, um, the more that compas is going to be, you know, inside of you, and that right here. 
So what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you a little bit of palmas. And so if you're a new beginner, I got you here. I'm going to show you just uh, the simple palmas. And if you're more advanced, then don't worry. I got you too, because I'll give you some more variations. So let's begin. Now, there are different rhythms in flamenco. Um, and each, the rhythms are called palos, as in branches. And each one is going to have its own time signature. And the majority of the time signature in flamenco is in 12. And that's what we're going to work on today. So the compas, as in one measure, it's in a count of 12. However, it starts on 12 and it ends on 10. <laughs> so let me explain. So we have 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, so it went from 12 and then it went to 1, 2, 3. And then if, when the dancer ends, it's going to end on 10 when we completely stop. All right, and then the accents are 12, 3, 6, 8, 10. And one way to remember that, if you are a musical fan, um, there's a, the song for, I like to be in America. Da, 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 da. That is in the rhythm of Bulleria, kind of like what we'll be working on right now. It's in the 12 count, so the accents are 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so that's just to help you out there. So we have, for straight palmas, we have 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And so be sure that you have your, your thumbs are kind of going across from each other, your hands are cupped, and your arms stay next to your body. So you don't want to flop around, no floppies, okay? So let's practice with solo compas. Solo compas means the compas, the drum machine by itself. And so um, we will do that. And then I'll show you a little bit more. So let's start with the solo compas, straight palmas. All right, so we have the compas of 12, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, three, four, five, six, eight, ten. Here we go. Twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten, and twelve. How do you know where that 12 is? You want to listen for da ka da da ka da and 12. da ka da da ka da and 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that was with solo compas, like just the basic drum machine. Now we're going to play the same straight palmas, but with um, guitar music. It's solo compas, but just with the guitar. And if you're more advanced, don't worry. You, this is a great exercise to um, really make sure that you have that compas, that you hear it, and that you can actually feel it, as opposed to just counting it and, and holding on for dear life. And then we'll, after we do the guitar, straight palmas, we're going to do the syncopated one, but let's start with the guitar.
All right, so we did palmas that were just straight. And now we're gonna do something that's more syncopated, um, a little bit more rhythmical. All right, so it looks like this. We have bam, ba bam, bam, ba bam, bam, da ka dan, da ka dan. All right, so let's start it off. We have 12 and two, three, okay? And ba, ba bam, ba. Again, ba, ba bam, ba. And Bum, ba bum, bum. And then we add another one. Twelve and two, three and five, six. Again. Ba, ba bum, bum, ba bum, bum. And twelve and two, three and five, six. One more time. And ba, da gun, da, da gun, da. And then we end it with da ka tan, da ka tan. Dakatan, dakatan. Dakatan, dakatan. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, we put it together. Bam, and two, three, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And da, dakan, da, dakan, da, dakatan, dakatan. And twelve, and two, three. And five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, eleven, twelve. Da gan da, da gan da, da ka da, da ka da. So let's practice that with solo compas, and then we'll put on a piece of music. All right. So we are working in the rhythm of alegrías, and remember, so alegrías is very happy. So let's start it with the solo compas. So now I'm going to play a piece of music, a piece of uh, an alegría song, and we're going to alternate between playing straight palmas, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and the syncopated. Da, da, gan, da, da, gan, da, da, ka, dan, da, ka, dan. So you'll see that you, know, you can do those two different palmas, they're two different styles of palmas, to the same piece of music, it's the same time. So you wanna just really work on hitting those accents. All right, let's do it. Oh, 
enjoyed that first little taste of flamenco palmas in the rhythm of alegrías if you're a new beginner and if you're more experienced i hope you enjoyed playing palmas along with me so sometimes i hear from dancers or many times i hear from dancers that are um, beginning that i can't hear that 12 what do i do to hear that 12 and to that i say you, know, you want to slow it down Pick music that, that has a very strong driving beat. So if you choose recordings that are solo compas, those are made for students. Those are made for practicing. So use those to, to hear and hear where that 12 is. ta ka tan ta ka tan and 12, right? And then um, you can start watching different um, videos or listen to different recordings. And they're going to be a little different in that there might not be that, that driving beat. So um, if you have more experience, then you can uh, experiment with that. But don't get ahead of yourself. Just if you really can't hear it, stick to the basics. Listen to that solo compas over and over until you get it before you start trying to figure out all these different recordings that you find um, on Spotify or the different videos on YouTube. Okay, so um, for our next video, uh, we are going to go into what it takes to, to really dance flamenco, and that is courage. And I know you might think, like, well, well yeah, I, already, I guess I already have that courage because I really want to dance it, and I'm already here, right? <laughs> yes, that's true, and that's wonderful. Ole tu. But, but really, once you start moving and dancing around, that's when all the, the self-judgment and the fear starts coming in, um, and attacking, so you need to have that really strong foundation so that you can stand up and be seen and, um, and allow yourself to express yourself. But we will do that in the next video. So uh, right now, I would love to hear from you. I would love for you to go to the Facebook group for um, this workshop and, and tell me you know, what, what you learned, what was any aha moments, and include a practice video of yourself because everyone is going to give you jaleos, ole ole. So thank you very much, and I will see you next time. Bye.